What's going on, y'all? Listen, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is part two of Kali Arasal's uh, news update, okay? So if you don't know who Kali Arasal is, you know, she does not have to be explained because I did a video um, yesterday about this girl, okay? And I knew that something wrong was going to happen, okay? So we got the updates today, of which to me, it really does not make sense when you actually listen to the details and listen to the press conference. The information that we just got from press conference today, it, it's crazy. It's just mind blowing. And I just pray and hope that, you know, this is not the case. But when I think about it, I'm like, okay, can, is there anything that's going to help her out of the situation? Because I feel like the prayer is not even going to help her. You know, when they go into details, it's a whole and what actually happened, it's just mind blowing. If she actually planned that up until to, to where she she comes up with the information, yeah, honey, listen, I got kidnapped. These are the people, the people look like this and this and this and this. I'm like, this is crazy to me because this is more like, um, what's the name of the gentleman? Uh, this is a more like just a small like situation, you know, just a small like, went through the same thing. All the details that he was giving, everything was pretty much believable and accurate. But, you know, with the evidence that the people brought forward, you know, things did not end up uh, uh, going well for us. So let's find out some of the information that we received today from the, um, the, the press conference, okay? So, okay, let's hear this. Detectives that while traveling down the interstate, she saw a baby walking down the side of the road and called 911. She stuttered when she got out of her vehicle to check on the child. A man came out of the trees and mumbled that he was checking on the baby. She claimed that the man then picked her up and she screamed. She stated he then made her go over a fence. She claims he then forced her into a car. And the next thing she remembers is being in the trailer of an 18-wheeler. She stated that the male was with a female. However, she never saw the female, only hearing her voice. She also told detectives she could hear a baby crying. She told detectives the male had orange hair with a big bald spot on the back. She said she was able to escape the 18-wheeler and fled on foot, only to be captured again. So if you hear exactly what he's saying here, you know, he's giving a clear description of a person that uh, abducted her. You know, uh, a person with orange hair with a bald, the bald spot on the back, like, where does she get this information from? Like, is this somebody that uses some drugs or something? I'm so confused. And, and then was put in a car. She claimed she was then blindfolded, but was not tied up because the captor said they did not want to leave impressions on her wrists. She said that they took her into a house during the statement. She told he made her get undressed. She believes they took pictures of her, but she does not remember them having any physical or sexual contact. She stated the next day she woke up and was fed cheese crackers by the female. She said the woman also played with her hair. Getting into details of how what she actually ate on that day, what they fed her, she's like, you know, they gave me some cheese crackers. I'm like, oh, oh, what? Let's think about it. Is this some of the cheese crackers that she bought uh, while she was on the highway? Because apparently she had made some stops somewhere uh, along the highway to get some snacks. I mean, I don't know. I'm having any physical or sexual contact. She stated the next day she woke up and was fed cheese crackers by the female. She said the woman also played with her hair, but could not remember anything else. At some point, she was put back in a vehicle she claims was able to escape while it was in the West Hoover area. She told detectives she ran through lots of woods until she came out near her residence. During this interview, detectives noted that Carly had a small injury to her lip, and she claimed that her head was hurting. She also had a tear on her shirt. Detectives also noted that she had $107 cash in her right sock. Out of respect for Carly and her family, detectives did not press for additional information in this interview and made plans to speak with her in detail after they made her get undressed and her time to rest. Detectives continue analyzing data from Carly's cell phone that was left behind at the scene. We enlisted the help of the United States Secrets. This is where it gets tricky. This is where it gets really, really interesting. Listen to this. Service and conducting this analysis. Part of what data includes several internet searches and the days leading up to their disappearance 
that I think are rele very relevant to this case. So the Secret Service had to go in her phone to see her search history, to see what was she up to a couple of days before the case. On July 11th at 7.30 a.m., the term, you have to pay for an Amber Alert was searched. So she Googled, do you have to pay? <laughs> this is crazy. She Googled, do you have to pay for an Amber Alert? Are you kidding me? Why would somebody Google that? Like what? It does not make no sense, but let me not say it because sometimes we Google some crazy, crazy things, but you never know these things, you know, they follow you. On July 13th at 1.03 a.m., the day of her disappearance, the term, how to take money from a register without being caught was searched. The second Google was how to take money from the register without getting caught. And this is the day when she disappeared, okay? How to get money from the register without getting caught. That was July 14 when she disappeared. On July 13th at 2.13 a.m., the day of her disappearance, the term Birmingham bus station was searched. On July 13th, 2.35 a.m., a search for a one-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville was conducted. Oh, sorry, sorry, that was, that was the day before. That was the same day, on the 13th. So uh, again, on the 13th, she Googled the uh, bus station. You know, this is the person who has a car you know, she could go anywhere she wants if she want to go with the car. But, you know, if she was actually planning to disappear and drop off the car somewhere, you know, and go to this unknown location with uh, a, a public transportation, this is what she planned. And remember what I told you guys on my previous video, the information that I seen from the other YouTuber who was saying, insinuating some crazy, crazy information that I, I don't believe. But we will just have to wait and see what these people are coming out with. Did her time to rest with a departure date of July 13th. On July 13th at 1210 p.m., a search for the movie Taken, a film about a production, was conducted. There were two searches related to Amber Alerts on a computer at Carly's place of employment, including one regarding the maximum age of an Amber Alert. There were other searches on Carly's phone that appeared to shed some light on her. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. You see, you are pissing me off right now because everybody was rooting for you and a lot of people right now look stupid right now. I can imagine what Tina Knowles is going through right now. Miss Tina had publicly came out with a statement about the missing, uh, the disappearance of this lady. And a lot of people that were in support of her. And a lot of people were actually eating her up for actually taking, you know, time to make this post about this. Is the post still there? We don't know if the post is still there. But the family and herself, that's still sticking up to the story that she got abducted, you know? This is the story that's sticking up with and they don't care. You know, you know, the way they orchestrated this, you know, it just does not make sense. I don't know if the mother is in it too, but to me, I don't think the mother is in it. I think maybe the boyfriend probably knows what happened. And, you know, because it just does not make sense. These things does not add up right now. I don't know. I don't know, but the way she's telling this story, you know, it sounds real. It sounds like something that's real that actually happened in the movie. And I'm so confused right now. I don't even know what to say. But Carly, if you lying about this, trust me, you have another thing coming. If you lying about this, you have another thing coming now. But guys, this was the update. This is the news that we just got after the, um, the, uh, uh, the press conference today. So we just have to wait and find out, you know, that it's, it's still an ongoing investigation. So they have to find out, you know, the fact that Secret Safety is already involved in the case. So we, they might come up with something really, really interesting in the next few days. Okay. Let's just be patient and wait. I'm following up on the case. So we're going to find out in the next few days and I'll come back here 
and update you guys of what's really going on. Okay, hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the share if you want to support the channel. Make sure that you hit the bell. This is not what I usually do, but since I found that this case is really, really interesting, I decided to come here to go a little longer now with our drawing just to give you guys an update. It's crazy in America. You know, people do crazy things for clout, and this might be one of the stories to go in history, okay? Thank you very much for tuning in. Until the end of the video, I will see you guys with another video. Peace out.